By the way, did you fill your gas tank today? And do you want to solve the oil crisis? Do you want our country to have a clear energy policy? Then insist on clarity. Gasoline, oil, electricity, coal, nuclear, natural gas, wind, solar, and geothermal are all part of the energy equation, but each represents a separate issue. By mixing these issues together, reporters, commentators, and politicians create confusion. We hope this presentation, one of several, will help bring clarity to the energy issue. It has been prepared by Don Deers, a retired GE company executive who has had extensive experience working with energy issues. The first issue this series will address is the relationship between oil and electricity. Oil and electricity need to be viewed separately. There's little overlap between oil and electricity. The energy sources for generating electricity are shown here. They are predominantly coal, nuclear, natural gas, and hydro. Less than 2% of our electricity is generated using oil. Here we list the uses of oil. As you can see, most of the oil we use is for transportation. Only a very small amount of oil is used to generate electricity, and a significant part of that is in Hawaii because oil is easily imported there. Theoretically, all forms of energy are interchangeable, but our transportation system is based on oil. This paradigm may change in the future, perhaps by the electric car when it becomes available, but today our transportation system is based on oil. It will be decades before the electric vehicle can change the oil paradigm. Natural gas, if it's even viable, would also take decades. And hydrogen-powered vehicles are even less likely to become viable before the middle of this century. Reporters, commentators, and politicians have referred to wind and solar as a way to solve our current oil crisis. But wind, solar, and geothermal generate electricity. They do not produce oil. Electricity cannot replace oil for transportation right now. Or can electricity replace the remaining uses of oil, such as for propane and lubricants? Generating more electricity from wind or solar, or even nuclear, cannot help solve the current oil crisis. More electricity cannot lower the price of gasoline. Referring to wind and solar as a way to solve our current oil crisis creates confusion, because wind, solar, and geothermal cannot produce oil. They cannot replace gasoline or diesel fuel. Any reporter, commentator, or politician who says or infers we can solve our oil crisis and cut gasoline prices by increasing wind solar or geothermal power is insincere or uninformed. We hope you have found this information useful. Please watch for our next presentation that will focus on biofuels. Later we'll focus on wind power and natural gas. We will also examine plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. This presentation has been produced by T.S. August. Additional information is available at www.tsaugust.org. Thank you for listening.